A lot of us need to sit at the feet of Jesus. A lot of us need teaching. A lot of us are not going to grow if we don't desire to sit at the feet of Jesus. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pearl. And if you notice, the name of my channel has changed to Pearl B TV. <laughs> but nothing else has changed. Like my word, my message, you know, me trying to help you guys grow in God is all the same nothing has changed about myself so you guys I want to do this video real quick I want to give you this message real quick so make sure you share this with someone who is trying to grow their relationship with God make sure you like this video and make sure you guys subscribe because we're almost at 1,000 subscribers we're almost there you guys so I want to give you this message I'm looking at my laptop because I have a word pulled up um for you guys and so i want to talk today because uh about distraction being distracted being distracted being distracted i noticed that a lot of people are being distracted today i feel like the last few years we have been distracted by so many things you know the bible tells us do not love the world or anything in the world if we love the world then the love of the father is not in us and so we cannot love the world and love the father at the same time so we have to choose this day who we're going to serve you know and so i know that like sometimes the 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 videos that i do the content that i put out is not very popular because i'm not prophesizing i'm get, i'm not giving people a prophetic word and most of the time that's all people want is a prophet prophetic word like no one can really hear god for themselves they need somebody to tell them something good it always has to be something good and so i don't normally do that you know i try to be led by the spirit when i do these videos but really i want to help you grow your relationship with god and how to get to a point where you don't you know have to pray for a prophetic word but you can seek the father for yourself Your distractions many people are distracted like we're distracted by so many things like a lot of you god is calling you to do certain things he's calling you to go forth and do certain things but we're caught up in you know social media we're caught up in netflix and um all this kind of stuff we're caught up in relationships that does not serve us we're caught up in so many different things you know and god cannot get our attention he can't speak to us because our ears are closed he can't speak to us because our eyes are closed we can he can't show us things because we're not paying attention we're distracted by so many things you know that's going on we've uh some of us love the things of the world we just love the things that we're connected to we cannot let it go we make these things our idols and god had already told us in his word that he is a jealous God and he doesn't want us to put anything before him you know he is to be first in the head of our lives and anything that we we put before him is called an idol it doesn't matter what it is it can be a thing it could be a person it could be a place it doesn't matter what it is if it's before God if we love it more than we love God then God is telling us to put away our idols I like the word I like what David said. He said, Lord, turn my eyes away from worthless things. And that's my prayer. I always pray that prayer because I don't want to get distracted. Even with being like a content creator, being on social media, like I don't want to get caught up in the things that's on social media. Like I don't want to be pulled away from the Lord, focusing on things that does not serve me. I noticed how when the Super Bowl came, then all of the people of God, you know, not all of the people of God, you know, of course, but, um, some of the people that I saw that was in ministry, like was, were all saying, oh, we can't wait till Usher come out, you know, the singer Usher. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know, like, uh, I didn't watch it. I don't watch football, so I'm not against it, but I didn't watch it at all. I didn't watch the performance, nothing like that. But I saw a lot of people talking about it. You know, I read a lot of what people were saying about the performance and just things like that. It just shows how disconnected we are to uh, God, how uh, connected we are to the world. You know what I'm saying? And people get upset about things like this. And I say this humbly. I say this in love. I say this through the spirit of the Lord. Like, the 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 word of God already tells us to be separated from the world. Don't love nothing in the world, you know. But that exactly what we do, and we try to say things and justify why we love these things, you know. No one says that Usher is not talented or anything like that. But I don't have no business raving over Usher, so that's just that, you know. But um, we just got to be careful. And I want to read what the word of the Lord says about this. And you guys probably already know this story. It's in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. And it's a story about how Mary and Martha, um, 
you know, serve God and how Jesus and his disciples went to um, their home and a lady named Martha. She Martha, she opened her home to him. You know, she had a sister named Mary and they both were there. But Martha was busy. She was distracted with all the preparations that had to be made when the company came in. So this is this is so good because I like this is the new international version. I normally don't read this version, but this is what I got pulled up right now. But it uses the word distracted. Martha was distracted by all the preparations. A lot of us are distracted today. We're distracted with a lot of things that that needs to be done. It's not that, you know, it's things that we love, love, love to do. It doesn't have to be that some of the things we're distracted by that we love we're obsessed with some of the things is we have to do it we have to do these things we have to get these things taken care of and so my martha was kind of upset that mary was you know in another part listening to jesus teachings she was at the feet of jesus listening to his his teachings and martha said you know lord don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself tell her to come and help me so um Jesus says, Martha, Martha, <laughs> when, when he says your name twice, you know, he just really tried to tell you something. Martha, Martha, look, look, you're worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. He said, or indeed only one, <laughs> only one thing is needed. He said, Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. This is so so good because a lot of us need to sit at the feet of Jesus. A lot of us need teaching. A lot of us are not going to grow if we don't desire to sit at the feet of Jesus. Mary desired to sit at the feet of Jesus. She could have been doing other things. She could have been helping her sister Martha. She could have been preparing. She could have been fixing something. I don't know exactly what they were doing, but they were catering to their guests. But she could have been doing something of that nature that is not necessarily wrong but he said that mary chose the better thing to sit at his feet to hear his word and god is calling calling some of us to sit at his feet sometimes once a week bible study is not enough it's not enough we got to desire more from the Lord. We have to desire to know more of the Lord. You know, it's like you, you have this relationship with this person. Now I want to get to know this person. So now I have to sit at his feet and hear his teachings. You know, I want to know all about him. I want to know what he likes and what he don't don't like. It's almost like being in a relationship with the man. You know, we want to know what we want to make him happy. So I want to know what you like, what kind of cologne you like, what kind of watch you like, you know, what kind of movies you like. You you know what places you like what kind of food you like like we want to know everything that makes them happy because so that we can know how to cater to them and so we want to know what jesus like we want to know how he requires us to walk you know he gave us his life for us like that's the least we can do you know is to sit at his feet you know it's so many things that we have to take care of in our daily lives it ha has to be done but we got to make sure that we set boundaries like, I'm going to take care of this stuff, but we know that we have to get in the word. Some of us are empty. You know, Jesus said, man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. And some of us are eating physical food, but we have no spiritual food and we're weak right now. We're weak right now. And God wants to make us strong. And that's why you're watching this video. God wants to make you strong. Like if you desire more from God, you wouldn't settle with just once a week Bible study with your ministry, the church that you're a part of. But you'll start to get in the word for yourself. And like once you get in the word, like you pray, you always go to God. God, give me an understanding of this word. Show me what I need to be studying right now like we don't want to just read the word we want to study and know the word so we can live the word so i hope this video uh help you guys i hope you like it make sure you comment below give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video